guys, it's Extreme 3D, and in this video we will be talking about stainless steel 3D printing filament. Alright guys, so welcome back, um, and you, as you may have noticed, I do have some new lights, uh, and I do have a new microphone on my camera, uh, so a lot of people have told me that I need some better lighting and better sound quality, so I, I have gotten some new lights and uh, a new microphone, and it was, ve it was very cheap actually, I'll link uh, the, uh, the products down in the description. So um, today we are going to be talking about stainless steel 3D printing filament. Uh, so happy 3D Thursday, by the way. Um, but anyways, uh, we are going to be talking about this stainless steel filament. So if you have noticed, uh, I have talked about this before in one of my previous videos. Uh, it should be up here. I'll have a little video thing and you'll be able to click on it. So please check that out. Uh, I'll have a bunch of different filaments in that video and uh, I'm finally reviewing this and uh, I'm going to show you some cool prints and some challenges and an overall summary of what this filament is like. So let's get started. So first of all, um, I'm going to give you a close up of this filament. Uh, but anyways, it does uh, look like metal. Uh, it's gray. It's kind of grainy. It's very brittle, like very brittle. When I was first starting to print with this, uh, it snapped right away. And I actually have the little piece right here. It just broke right off. So it's very brittle. Uh, as you can see there, it just broke. So it's not as strong or flexible as like ABS, but it's it's pretty cool, it can be polished. And I'm gonna show you guys that uh, later in the video. Um, now I'm gonna show you some more close-ups of this filament. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the different requirements that uh, allow you to print with this material. So this is just a PLA type of material. It does have some stainless steel particles in this. Uh, so that's what makes it stainless steel. So anyways, uh, to print with this, you can print at whatever uh, PLA temperature that you normally do. I normally do 195 degrees Celsius, uh, just because I like that temperature. It seems to work with my printer bot. So that works for me and I do 0.2 millimeters uh, for the layer height and I do normally 25% uh, infill. So this filament so far has been really fun to print with. Uh, it's not as cool as the bronze fill or copper fill that I have, uh, but it's still pretty cool. I like metal filament and I like this. It's a great filament and I do recommend it. So now let's go look at some of the prints I've uh, printed with my printer. So now I'm going to show you a time lapse of this printing. Uh, so let's go do that. After every night and every day, I realize we are all the same. After every fight and every fall, we'll see the light shines through us all. Okay, so welcome back. Um, so now I'm gonna just show you a few things. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, me removing this, of course. And so as you may notice, it is very stringy. It's probably because I printed more than one part, uh, but let's get this off the build platform. All right, so we're gonna remove this now. Uh, sorry that I have this facing the other way. It's the only way that I was able to get this printer working. Uh, so let's get this off. It's gonna be a little tricky. Alright, so as you can see, there is a lot of stringiness. It's pretty crazy. There are a bunch of strings connecting this, and these are separate parts. So I'm just going to remove this all. 
It's probably going to all come off in the rock tumbler. I'll show you a close-up of this um, right now. All right, so uh, it's very stringy uh, when printing. And that's that's been with my experience uh, and all this stuff is going to come off when I put it in the rock tumbler and polish it so it does have a really nice metal feel to it um, and I'll put all this uh, stuff in the I'll put all the files for this down in the description below so it came out really well I mean being printed besides all the stringy parts uh, and we're gonna pol I'll show you a close-up of it uh, after it was polished so um, you should see it now and then this bolt, this bolt right here, it also printed pretty well. I'll show you a close-up of that now. And uh, it, it came out pretty well besides all the stringiness. Uh, and also the nut for it came out pretty well too. Um, and I will show you the polished version now. So it looks really nice after being polished also. Um, so now the last thing we have is a little boat that I've designed in Maya. It was one of my first projects that I made in Maya. And uh, I'll show you a close-up of this now. This is just a mini version. Uh, I do look at this. That was uh, one of these that I printed in Iron Magnetic PLA. So now I will show you the polished version of that. And as you can see, it also looks really nice. Um, and they are actually pretty heavy, um, but yeah, I'm surprised with how well these prints turned out. Now I'm gonna show you how I polish these. All right guys, so here you can see um, my rock tumbler, and uh, at the moment I only have one barrel uh, spinning because I'm only polishing the stainless steel filament, but I can have two different filaments being polished at the same time. I have one barrel th which has bronze screws and one that has stainless steel ones, and I can use them for whatever metal filaments that I'd like. So this uh, rock tumbler works really well, uh, and I use cheap little metal screws, and the way it works is uh, the screws are inside the barrel, and uh, when the barrel spins, the screws brush up against each other and the metal particles get rubbed onto the different prints that you have. So um, it's a really good way to polish these filaments and uh, as you can see, there's a ton of metal particles left over. All right guys, so um, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, that's all the time that I have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe if you liked everything. Uh, leave a like down below and uh, check my Thingiverse page for new files that I upload. And uh, please support me on Patreon if you can. Uh, and uh, please stick around for more videos. Uh, hopefully I will be reviewing uh, Protopasta's carbon fiber filament. Uh, and I got a sample of that at Maker Faire. You can see the video here. And uh, please stick around for more and uh, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys, bye.